Hello guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program with me Wall377 and what we have here is a new uh, module that we're going to be docking onto our international uh, the Kerbal International Space Station that is currently in orbit about 100 kilometers up uh, and what this is it's a rotating habitat so we've got two habitation units on the end of uh, these iron uh, eye rods or whatever you call them and they're on two hinges either side uh, which can be controlled via the servo config which will pop up later on when we're in space um, so all that all that will do is those hinges can undock so that these are uh, these arms will be um, on the horizontal plane as I'm looking at it now and then what we've also got here is a rotational plate here so these are a rotational docking port whereby you need two bits, that's one end and that's the other end above it. You've got a red part, a red dot, which indicates the fixed side. Um, so I fixed it to the bottom there. And on the other side, I fixed the upper section to the top, um, which will give us a nice uh, rotation here whilst remaining dock. I'm not sure how much force um, that will give, but I'm, I'm assuming it will be okay. Uh, what else have we got? We've got struts galore here. with loads of struts everywhere. Uh, the reason being... Um, I want things to be as stable as possible if they're not in, if this isn't in use or if it doesn't work as we intended it to at least we can use these sides to uh, <clears throat> make sure that it's all stable and these are really here uh, these uh, quantum struts here are really here to enforce this join here so if you look very closely there's a line here this is a join and I'm a bit worried that you know if, when this starts spinning uh, that you know they'll just fly off so at least quantum, quantum struts are there just to help it help it out a little bit now at the top of these if I can just about see them. Here we go. What we've got is we've got um, Xeon. I think it's Xeon. And at the top, Xeon engine. But between the two, we have a hinge here. Now, this hinge is also part of the servo configuration. And I've got another one on the opposite side. The idea being that once these two arms are horizontal, I can then angle these uh, engines to create a turning force, which will hopefully spin the whole thing round and round and round and round and round. Um, it's also worth noting that this is the Infernal uh, Robotics Pack available from the Kerbin Space uh, port uh, which is the normal add-on site that you can go to and you can just download it from there and install via the instructions there. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch this and get it docked and uh, then I'll start recording again and you can join me shortly. Hello guys and welcome to um, Welcome to the International Space Station. Uh, I have docked our new payload at the top here. Can you see this thing up here? So I've docked this bad boy. Let's control from here and then we'll be able to um, make sure that all this goes smoothly. So I'm going to quickly F5 because I don't want anything mega to happen um, that hasn't been arranged. So I've got one and two that um, control these uh, ports. So there you go, one, two, you can see that turning off and on nicely. And then I've got group servos here which are going to do various different things. So that does nothing. And there we go. So that's the first bit. Whoa, I'm going to turn those struts on. Lot of wobble there. I'm going to speed it up as well. There you go. I'm very nervous about all this if you haven't already guessed. Jesus. Okay, so small steps guys. That's the... Uh, I think that's the key here. So nice little clicks, really smooth openings. So you can see me just double clicking, just double tapping very slightly, slowly opening up these hinges up here. See this hinge here? So this is slowly opening up. I certainly don't want to cause any wobble like I did a minute ago. So just very gentle opening up of those hinges. Last thing I want is for things to snap and everything to uh, fall apart. That's not what this mission's all about. Um, I'm going to speed it up just to stop any wobble that there might be. Lovely stuff. Um, I'm going to F5 it here because we, we got quite far without damaging anything. So here we are, another few clicks. Let's get this open. It's quite a big one, so I'm going to 
Stop that rotation there. Whoa. Is everything okay? I saw some some movement then. I think everything looks okay. We're going to carry on. Because we're nearly there now. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Boom. There you go, look. We have got that sorted. That looks okay. Okay, so I'm going to F5 it there. So that's step one. Okay, so step two uh, is moving these ports on the back. Okay, so you probably didn't see that, but what I've done there is that this controls this hinge here, and there's another one on the other side. And all I want is it to be like that. Perfect. Now we're going to inflate these things at the end. And slowly these will start to inflate. Now remember I do have um, the physics per second turned right up. So this is um, nice and smooth for you guys. But more importantly, um, I can actually dock without things going mental. So you can see these are nice and uh, inflated now. I think they're still inflating slowly. That looks about right. Now what I'm also going to do is just have a quick look to make sure I don't have any engines that are currently enabled on this ship because I'm going to be turning on some engines in a minute. Um, and the last thing I want is these engines to uh, to throttle up with me. And what's this here? What have I got? And what's number two here? Ah yes, okay, so there we've got a couple of separators there, so we need to watch that very carefully. But in the meantime what we can do is add another stage here and put these engines on it, like so. And I'm going to manually activate these. I don't trust the staging on this ship, so activate that, and here activate that. So now they should be enabled. Uh, now I just need to deactivate these ones here. So there's four on each side I need to deactivate. These were just here for stability for the initial setup, but now we're set up we can safely deactivate these without risk of anything going wrong. Deactivate, 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 and deactivate. Cool. So now all we have to do is throttle up and see what see what happens. So I'm slowly going to throttle up because so I, I don't want anything bad to happen here. Turn on the resources, see what's going on, if anything. I think we're okay. So if you give it a second, if you can see the back, we now have a rotating... Um, that's probably not a lot of gravity being produced in there, but over time it will speed up and remember that you are seeing it in slow motion. Um, because of the extra physics that's taking place per second. So that's actually spinning around a little bit faster, not mega fast, but a little bit faster than you can actually see it. So this, guys, is uh, is the next phase, look. How cool is this? So I think we've finished off this top end. We've got no docking ports or anything for it to dock in. There's plenty of uh, Xeon gas uh, that I've got here for these to rotate, basically endlessly. There's plenty of electric charge from all these. Um, so that can pretty much be going uh, endlessly, really. Um, so there you go, guys. I really hope that you like this uh, space station. Um, I'm pro I'll probably think about adding some more bits. Uh, I still have got to decide what what's going on. I mean, we've got our robotic, robotic arms now. We've got our um, rotating habitat at the top here. We've got solar arrays, science stations, escape pods, uh, fuel storage bays. Um, you know, we've, we've got a really good setup. Uh, fuel transport, look. 
main core, uh, a docking assembly at the back here, plenty of docking ports for other ships and stuff to dock. So yeah, I think it's really taking shape, I think this looks great, I love the uh, rotating um, pod at the top, I really think that finishes it off, and really basically means that these guys can exercise in these habitats and experience um, gravity like we would experience it on Earth. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, rate and subscribe. And um, yeah, drop me some ideas because you know I can come up with these ideas. I've got plenty of other ideas, but um, I, I'd like to understand if, if you guys want to see something, um, how that could, you know, what I could do. So anyway, um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.